Hi guys, this is topic 2.1 types of chemical bonds. Uh, this video here is going to detail or explain how to solve some problems regarding uh, the strength of different types of bonds. So as you saw in your notes, the objective for today's topic was to explain the relationship between the type of bonding and the properties of elements participating in the bond. And the different types that were talked about were like the covalent and the polar and nonpolar, ionic and metallic. Place the following bonds in order of increasing polarity. So basically it's nonpolar to polar. So the trick is look for um, atoms, or if they're in a bond, if you will, that are first covalent, so two nonmetals. Then from there you have to figure out well, in terms of their increasing electronegativity in the, the atoms that are involved, that will tell you that that's increasing in polarity. So we have C and H, C and F, C and C, C and O, and C, oh, calcium and carbon. So the ones that are nonpolar and they're covalent, and covalent um, there'll be ones that are have very minimal differences in electronegativity. So we can see that we have a C, a carbon and carbon bond, since they're both the same element, their electronegativity would be pretty much nothing. The difference in electronegativity would be low, very low. In fact, it would be zero because they're the same. So C and C is the first one. The next one, we're looking, we see C and H still, CF, CO, calcium, carbon. We're still increasing polarity, but the difference between the polarity in the next two in the next bond is very minimal so carbon and hydrogen keep on going up the farther apart elements are in the periodic table especially within a row for example the more polar it will be so the next one increase in increasing polarity will be c and o and then with carbon bonded to the most electronegative element that means it's going to be fairly polar so C and F. The last one is calcium and carbon, and this is ionic, so definitely, definitely, definitely more in increase in polarity. All right. Classify the following substances below: H2, NaF, zinc, Cl2, uh, nitrogen monoxide, copper, zinc, bonded together somehow. Uh, nitrogen trichloride, methane, or carbon tetrahydride, and aluminum. So I'll give you all a few seconds to figure out how to how you would arrange it, or how you think you'd arrange it. Okay, so the first one is a non-polar non covalent, non -pol Jesus, non-polar covalent. So it would be ones with very minimal difference in electronegativity. So from what we see, we see you have two hydrogens together, so that would be a nonpolar covalent, and also the methane, the CH4 carbon tetrahydride. Next, polar covalent. So still two nonmetals, but there is a difference in polarity, meaning there, uh, there is may, there may be some dipoles, negative positive dipoles. So that means it's going to be NO and NCl3. Ionic, metal and nonmetal. So sodium fluoride and zinc 2 chloride. Metallic. So in your notes, it explains what metallic is. So essentially, it's metal ions in a sea of delocalized electrons. So it's going to be aluminum and the copper and zinc bonded together. All right, so that's it for now. Let me know if you have any questions. Hit that like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.